the time as the father of bee games. Wait, this is all these sets again. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework, you have to go back. Black cut to the nook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to go back. 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 If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. All right. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy High Tempo. The author of that game was Jazzo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of bee games. And bee games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a bee game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in Sexy Hiking is real. The obstacles in Sexy Hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazzo intended to make a frustrating game. Oh, the fuck. frustration is just a fucking to mountain. And it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this map. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it nice better. recovery. It already felt like okay. my inability to get past a new obstacle it was my fault okay. as a player rather than as a builder. Calm Imaginary down. mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb. Calm your and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set on. until they're immutable. Track my idea rots too. And at that point, you can't Gonna hold that PB. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. For years now, people Come have been on, where's this? Where's this a good space? Bought in a store and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened. Because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're oh. badly made. Oh. Nice. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Ah. Uh. This style of recording. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. For 20. Let's up for 20. <laughs> oh, the 20 seconds time save is not so slecht. Tot nog iets keer beter kunnen zijn, maar ben er tevreden mee. Dat is allemaal. Ik heb wat tijd te doen met space. Met ice mode nu. Nee, 